Hi, I'm Steve, aka The Angel of the Dice, and today I'm showing you a new Kickstarter game that is releasing on March the 14th. It's called Dirty Cops, a game for scoundrels, where you are basically dirty cops trying to get as much money as, as dirty cops. We've got as dirty cops, we have to go onto the streets and eliminate the criminals, which range from thugs all the way up to the king pin. To do this, as Dirty Cops, we have to go out onto the streets and eliminate the criminals, ranging from punks all the way up to the king pin. Each criminal has stats, which is depicted on the cards by the heart, which indicates their health, their ammo, their drugs, and how much money that they're carrying. So in the, in the game, green cubes are drugs, red is their health, and the grey cubes are their ammo. This enforcer gives a plus one ammo bonus to this punk. And this thug gives a plus one ammo bonus to this punk. And this punk starts at one ammo, but combined finishes off with three. Now each criminal prefers to target a certain cop, which is depicted by this area here on the card. Nine times out of ten they go for the lead detective but they might also go for the cop that has the most drugs, the most money, the most defense cards. Two player game and a four player game you have four crime scenes. In a three player game you have three crime scenes and each crime scene has different levels of criminals. This area is the player area. We're playing a two player game where you as a player are a shift commander where you control two cops each. In a three and four player game you control one character only. Each cop, so Angel, Tad, Fena and Carl, all have their own health ammo from pre previous rounds that they might have uh, collected. We have the lead detective that changes position every round. We have a standard issue gun that they can't lose or discard. And they have a vault where the cop can stash their money. We have two decks here. This one is the action cards. This is what makes you dirty this is the take that element of the game and this is where you get your attack raid and defense cards to protect yourself or affect the criminals so what we're going to do is play crime scene 4 to give you a flavor of how it plays right this is the planning phase for crime scene 4 so here with our hand limit of 7 we can draw up to that number and we can choose from any, any deck whether it's the action deck or the combat deck. So we just drew a card. So now it's player two's turn. So I'm so I'm going to draw from the combat. Can you pass me the combat? Player three's turn. Player four's turn. I shall take a combat, please. Sorry. Okay, so now that's done. It's now the crime scene phase. So each cop can play any number of defense or raid cards. So with defense cards, you place them in front of you, while raid cards are immediate and get discarded. Target cop deals a damage first. It's attack round. Right, which one of mine is um the worst one? Is it that one? Yeah, that's kingpin. Right, I'm gonna put that one there. Okay. The so target cop deals their damage first. Attack okay, before criminals. I'm gonna play a red card. Tear gas. All cops take their attack round first for this combat round. So I'm just gonna put that in a discard pile. Any more? And then I'm gonna play a. Defense. 
uh, I can take up to two damage. Play a three turn. So playing a bulletproof vest blocks two damage, then discard. This is a meat shield, playing real dirty. All damage in the next criminal attack phase that will be dealt to you is dealt to target cop instead. So, so that's, that's from four. three to four. So that's from three to four. And now let's play a fourth turn. And play the defense. Blocks three attack. No, blocks three damage, then discards. Anything else? I will do this one. Target criminal loses one power and skips next attack round. And you can play action cards anytime. So I'm going to steal one item in play from another target cop and take the bulletproof vest. And that is me done. Do that one then for us to taser. So the target criminal loses one power. So he's down to one, or she's down to one ammo. And skips next attack round, so she can't attack. We'll leave that there until otherwise we'll forget. Because now, after after the defense and raid cards, the criminals attack. After laying down the defense cards, the criminals now attack, starting from the crime scene card all the way to the end. But in this case, because of that tear gas. All cops take their attack round first for this combat round. So that's good. Same thing which is the same as trigger happy. Right, so my go. Yes. So now we can put as many attack cards as we like down. Right, that to that one. So attack target, criminal loses one power, deal one damage to that criminal. So they lose one ammo or one health. One ammo. One health. Right, I will also use my gun to hit this one, I suppose. So I take one so, off there. Yep. Okay. Yeah. And you can only fire one gun, or you may use an attack gun, but not both. For me, I'm going to attack. Deal one damage up to three different criminals. So I'm going to take that one, and because she's dead, I get the ammo, and I get her card, but the money and the drugs stay there. So three different criminals, so take that one, and take that one. And that is me done. Player three's turn. This is where you'd be helping each other in the hopes that you would uh, get the sweet I think booty I'd, at the end. I think I'd do it to that one. Three damage, yeah? Is it three da yeah. Do three damage, yeah, to that one. Or do you think this one? But it's got no weapon, so it can't do anything to you. Yeah. So take three off there. I'll just put the ammo back on. Just come on. Okay, that's a lot done. Yeah. Although now, because this card is gone, that gives a bonus to that. To yep. And that one gives. This is why you got to go. We got to think uh, tactically and eliminate people in a smart way. And number four. So number four, I will. Target criminal loses one power. And deal one damage. And then deal two damage to target criminal. I'm going to use on this one. You done? Okay, so that's that. So now they, the criminals are protected. 
now the criminals attack, they use that amount to damage the cops. But that one's going to try and target cop number two. But I block two damage. So I've got one damage left on that. So I don't get hit. So after this one, this one attacks. Attacks number three. But three earlier gave me the meat shield card. So it goes to four, but I block damage, so no one loses any health. Then this one has no ammo, plus they miss a turn attacking. This one attacks number one, and they've got two ammo, but the power for player one is that they only get hit for one. And then last but not least, we've got number four, who hits for one. But this bulletproof vest blocks it, gets destroyed, and gets discarded. But I've still got my three damage. So now, because they're still criminals alive, we draw up to three cards and repeat the crime scene phase order. Now that everyone's dead, we now go on to the cleanup phase where the lead detective distributes all the loot here. So what they have to do is count up the drugs. And the money. And then divide it equally. And if there's any left over, they have the authority to distribute it how they want. Now we go to the ER and we've got to recover up to four health. And each health cube costs 200. So 600 for player one. Yeah. Player two is one, two, three, four, five, six. You've got four health. I've got four health, so I don't have to pay anything. Player three, four health. Four health, and player four, one. So I need to pay 200. Now that we've done that, although you can play action cards at any time, we tend to do it now. Player two is going to target player one, and they're going to lose half of their drugs, running up to three hundred dollars. But I'm player one. Who's going to play that drug? Yeah, they play the council stop. So they cancel each other out. They cancel each other out. Let's see. Right, I will target cop pays five hundred to the bank. I'm going to cancel that one. Are you using it as well, I'm not going to do anything because I want to sell my stuff. <laughs> Alright, well, I mean, if I use it, I can use many as I want. Mm -hmm. So I can basically knock you out. Still half of the target cops' drugs. Whose are these ones? Player twos. I'll have half of these, please. Alright, target cop with drugs loses half of their drugs rounded up. Mm. Okay. Alright, and actually this one. Mm. Target cop loses half of their ammo tokens. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Rounded up so you lose four. Um, target cop loses half of their drugs rounded up to 300. Mm. Play four to cancel that one. Yeah, okay. So that's all cancelled out. Yeah. Must be done. And play four is going to. Nope, halt. Bah. I'm <laughs> <laughs> um... done unless you've got another one. 
because I haven't. I don't know how. Okay, target discards up to two random cards. Ta! I had lots of Hulk cards. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You done? Mm hmm. Okay. So now we sell the drugs that we have. Okay. And each ammo and drugs is £200. Uh, $200. One, two, three, four. And I'll have two thousand dollars, please. Uh, You've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's one thousand two hundred. Okay, we've got money there. Now this one, one, Three thousand two hundred dollars, please. Okay. And we're still up to five hundred from four to three. You done? I need three thousand two hundred from there. Two ends after the final cleanup phase, which is what we've just done. Once all players have sold their items and played all the action cards they choose to play, oh, yeah. and because there's because this is the last round, there's no need to vote the cash. A player with the most criminal cards is awarded a combat valor of five hundred dollars. Hey, how many have you got? I've got one for player one, one for player three. You've got two on player two. Because players two and four have got the most criminal cards. One gets 500 and the second gets 200. But if there's a tie, the award is split between the tie players rounded down. So that's 300 each. Which is it, those two? Which mm -hmm. is it, yeah? yeah. And, and, now, count up. and now we count up all the money. And by the way, if you turn over your hands, it's got the amounts there. So do do it. Right, player one has got 3,400. Okay. Can we do number two? Player two's got three thousand. Uh, where's your hand? You got this one or what? Oh, three thousand. Um, do you have any left in your hand or do you use everything? I think I use everything. Three thousand three hundred. Four thousand one hundred. Got thirty eight in money. Four thousand. Thirty nine. Forty-one. Have you just won? Forty-one. Forty-three. <laughs> that was close, wasn't yeah. it? You know that's because you had the most criminals. And you did what do you take from me? The You did something. The vest, so I didn't get shot. So that's the end of the game, as you hopefully saw. You got the take that element of the action cards. You got a strategic element of making sure that you eliminate the right criminals in the right order so they don't boost each other up to silly amounts. And as you can see, it was very close despite you know the runaway with the drugs. You know, you know, player three. You can see player three was stealing all my drugs, so you thought, oh well, <laughs> you know, she was going to win there. But no, with the with the additional combat valor, it shows that you have to eliminate your criminals so you get that nice fat bonus at the end, which is what I think turned the tide. So if you like if you like it, visit the Kickstarter page which I'll put in the description. And yeah, this is good for two players. You need to be a bit organized if you don't want to get too confused between your hands. I think it's much better for a three to four player where you can vibe off each other and call each other names under the sun but until next time i shall see you later